after the time on the Hulk, were there any drawbacks about you being known as the Hulk for like future acting for you? Yes, I was just, I was a uh, typecast. And people just thought that at the time when I did the Hulk, they thought I, I couldn't speak because it was a non speaking role. So after the Hulk was uh, canceled, I ended up doing the uh, film in Italy, like Hercules, different film. But then eventually I ended up doing other TV series, other film where my speech got better because I've learned to speak by the feeling of my tongue. So I've always been a fighter. I never say no to, to a, I, I'm the kind of person, if somebody knocks me down, I get up again. I don't stay down. Right. That's great. That's great. Um, for the, for the new, the next generation of Hulks, do you have a favorite between like Eric Banya, Ed Norton, and Mark Ruffalo? I like Ed Norton because he's very close to Bill Dix, but you know, the series that never be duplicated because Bill was fantastic. And the Hulk series had a wonderful, lazy, compelling match of every episode. Today, there's so much emphasis on CGI and uh, space. So it had to come back to good stories. That's what people want. That's why three decades of people I meet, fans of the Hulk, they bring it up how much affected their lives. 